Thanks, Stephanie. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And uh, in terms of green tech, green money, Stephanie asked me about some, you know, what, what products, and there's a lot of products up there. I think, uh, you know, like what Connor was saying, it really gets down to fundamentals. There's a lot of building science. But if there's one thing that I would put out there, uh, this e-monitor e device. What this is, is it has, uh, it goes by, there's a, this is Larry Master's house, his electrical panel here. The e-monitor has coils around every, every uh, circuit. So what it does, it makes visual what power your house is using. So uh, you could add this to an existing house. You can add it to a, um, a new construction. But what it does, a lot of times on a project, you'll, you'll how much do you think a house is going to use? How much do you think it's going to, you know, and, how, and a lot of times with the net, net zero, if you're going to net zero, if you're actually trying to get to, you know, spend money on solar panels and on, a, on generating, how much are we going to need? How much energy are we going to need to produce? And then this gives you a way of seeing later uh, the way, the, you know, what, what you're actually doing. Um, in Larry's, one interesting thing that happened during construction, the, uh, it, it tells, you know, the, the master bedroom was, a, you, know, a, a, you know, 120 watts of power was being, was being, and he's looking at his iPhone being like, why, why is there 120 watts? There's no, you know, no, nothing's going on here. Turned out the ceiling fan, the Energy Star ceiling fan came with two incandescent bulbs in it with a, you know, glazed cover. And he's, like, he's actually looking at his, uh, looking at his phone, realizing that why is there, why is there that much power being used in the bedroom? So, you know, and at the end of the year, you can track net zero, that type of thing. But uh, anyway, I, I think it's a, it's, it's a great way to make uh, energy vi vi visual. Um, someone who's here today, Connor Murphy, Murphy Electric, in the back there, he, he wired this. He's a good person to ask about. He, uh, he understands this. And in in whoever you use for an electrician, uh, you need to wire the house so that you can get the data from it. So uh, ask Connor. He's in the, can you raise your hand, Connor? <laughs> Uh, no, it, it really like for, when a, on a typical project, uh, th this has it's, it's a little bit small, but you can tell like the refrigerator, the dryer, it monitors w all the power that goes through goes through that individual circuit. So uh, on a project, I'll often say, okay, I'm predicting that we're going to need this, we're going to use this many kilowatt hours a year, and if we're using that, we need this size, uh, this many PV panels, and. Um, uh, once, once you have that, you're like, okay, I'm, I, I think we're, uh, average house is going to use this much uh, plug loads for your computers. Uh, I think the appliances are going to do that. A lot of appliances have to be a home run. So you're, you know, your stove or your refrigerator, you just, you just see how much your refrigerator uses and then look at the, how much should this be using. Um, often, there's something that isn't working properly, you'll, you'll, you know, you'll, you'll see it pretty instantly. Um, so you do have to wire it. You want to wire your lights different, your plug, whatever you want to measure. If you want to see how much your light bulbs are using, then all your lights have to be on separate circuits. You can't combine, you know, so it just depends. Uh, on a multifamily project, uh, we're just doing one apart, each apartment, so we're not even breaking it down. We're just saying, hey, there's, there's 12 apartments. Um, if, if one has a spike versus the other, maybe something's not functioning right in that apartment. So Larry had another great story that he uh, shared also that I heard one time is that um, his iPhone told him his refrigerator door was open. So yeah. he got a little <laughs> alarm. So tell that story. That was great. Yeah, that's, that, that's uh, yeah, his, I, I guess what happened was, uh, yeah, the, the refrigerator, the, the, it's not on this graph, but you'll see it. It'll, it'll show you when there's a power spike. So the, the refrigerator is on its own e-monitor e circuit. And if it, it the, the computer actually has a program, it's like, see something spiking abnormally, it'll tell you. And it turned out, you know, you got, you got an alert or an email. Because and, the, uh, the compressor <clears throat> kept coming on. Yeah, the compressor kept coming on. And uh, so, Just you know. refrigerator doors open. The same thing happened, actually left a door open. And the compressed, the, the, the geothermal heat pump was, was, he got a message about that. And uh, it was 50 degrees in the house when, you know, New Year's Eve or something. And um, figured that out from the email. Here we go. Um, so this is a, uh, actually, the, this is a per permeable paver. So um, this, what this product is, is it allows the, the groundwater, instead of uh, running off and stormwater and going off uh, off-site, it actually permeates into the ground underneath this. This, you can, you can see that there's, a, you, you can drive on this product. There's the, I actually, can you see it now? There's a parking lot here. Um, well, this is, this is later, once it's planted, yeah. And uh, later on, we're gonna, in the, t the talking uh, trash seminar, we're gonna, this is the house that we're going to be, uh, I have some data on, on, on trash and whatever. So I just you take a mental picture. This is Larry Master's house. 
Uh, there's, there's one of the PV panels on there on the uh, garage. But this, this product, um, on, this pro on this project, sorry, we, all, the, all the storm water is maintained on site. Nothing, nothing runs off. And for the driveway, um, this is a product we use. There's a very large base underneath this. This is not an inexpensive product to use, but in the right situation, a lot of times if you're on a, on a lake, uh, you know, there's certain areas like the Lake George Association, uh, other places that are really sensitive, you really don't want that. It's a small area. Uh, you want to drive on it, let the, uh, maintain it online, uh, on site. Uh, there's a, you can also uh, do other options of dry wells, typical to other type of construction, to um, to bury it in a less uh, beautiful way. <laughs>